Welcome to the second devlog for Liminal. A lot of progress has been made since I last spoke about the game. I'm going to talk about some of that progress in this devlog, along with my plans for the game in the near future. If you want to find out more, you can join the Liminal Discord. I post frequent updates about the game there and answer any questions that the community has. Otherwise, let's get into the progress that has been made for Liminal. The last time you saw Liminal in a devlog, it looked very different from what it is now. This is because I spent around two weeks overhauling the appearance of the game to be more in line with the atmosphere that I am aiming for. It involved a lot of iterating and value tweaking in order to get what you see now. Although I'm not completely satisfied yet with the appearance of the game, I think it's in a better state than it was previously and I learned a lot of valuable things about materials and post-processing in Unreal Engine. This will surely help me in the future. If you have thoughts on the visual appearance of the game, I would love to hear them in the comments. I've spent a lot of time recently working on the environment in Liminal, and one of the most important parts of that was structures. Structures are points of interest that generate throughout the environment. They are important because you will often find supplies and other essentials in or around them. As it currently stands, all of the structures are handmade and are tied to a specific environment. In the future, I'm going to create a system that will procedurally alter the handmade structures to create multiple variations. This will help increase environment diversity and prevent the player from seeing the same thing over and over. As it stands currently, there are 60 structures that can spawn in the world. Significant progress has been made on the AI systems within Liminal. The two major systems of note are spawning and navigation. I was able to successfully create a navigation mesh that allows for AI navigation to be dynamically generated at runtime. This is important because every world in Liminal is procedurally generated and navigation for AI cannot be created ahead of time. The majority of what is left in this area is just optimization. As for the spawning of AI, a system has been made to control the amount of AI that spawn, the spawn chance for specific AI, and the locations where AI are allowed to spawn. This means that some types of AI will be more common than others, and some AI will only be found in very specific environments. With all of the work that I have done in the past month, I'm feeling confident about the current state of Liminal, and I'm excited to see what the future holds. Something that I am in the process of doing now is getting the game onto Steam. This will be a significant step for the game and myself, as I have never done this in the past. I am also focused on creating a release date for a playtest version of the game in the near future. That's all I have for this devlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, it would really help out if you subscribed and or joined the Discord. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.